Hello, this is Vortex on the STM forum, and today I want to do a quick video on how to use Zero Park more efficiently. They have uh, recently come out with a feature called the Zero Park Volume Integration, and what this is is um, it's a feature that will allow you to change your Zero Park campaign settings directly from within uh, Volume. So, um, how do you enable this feature? You want to go up to the little gear icon and click on it. And then you want to click on Integrations. Now, I'm not actually going to do this because uh, my account's already been activated for this feature. But, um, your account should look like this. It should contain a button that says Integrate with Zero Park. And once you click on that, you'll be directed to the Zero Park uh, login panel where you'll enter your username and password and actually log into your Zero Park account. And um, at that point, the integration will be completed and the two accounts will be linked together. Now, after you do that, you will see a number of uh, different functionalities from within your volume dashboard for your uh, Zero Park campaigns. And one of these things is uh, the campaign bid will show, so you'll be able to change the campaign bid uh, from within volume. And if you are targeting by city, which this particular campaign is, then you can drill down to city and you can um, you can select cities and uh, you can pause them and activate them and in batch so uh, if I select uh, multiple cities I can pause them at the same time or res resume at the same time and the most useful uh, feature would probably be batch processing of targets and sources. So, uh, for example here, uh, I've drilled down to targets and let's say I want to pause all targets that are in loss by the equivalent of two times payout so as you can see my average payout here is nine cents um, this offer is one of those offers that has a variable payout um, as you can see it, it can vary from seven cents to ten cents but the average payout is nine cents so um, let's say I want to uh, pause all the placements that are in loss by um, let's say three times the payout so nine times three twenty seven cents what I would do is uh, well first of all I would click on profit um, I already have this sorted but if you uh, haven't then you will want to click on that until you have um, all the profits sorted by decreasing losses and then you would click on the first row you want to pause and then go all the way to 27 cents now before you click on this you'll have to click and hold the shift button on your keyboard so hold down the shift key and then click on this and all of these will be highlighted now you can just click on pause to pause all of them uh, and of course if you wanna just pause the whole page you can select the whole page by clicking this um, one tip here if you don't have a rule of thumb that you use to cut uh, targets what you can do is you can use the spreadsheet Uh, I'll include a link to this spreadsheet at the bottom of this video, but 
what this essentially does is uh, for a set of given conditions it will tell you whether the placement is likely to end up in profits or in loss or if there's not enough data to decide so what we want for it to tell us is uh, how much money you'll need to spend on that placement before it becomes uh, very unlikely to end up in profits so at which point you'll want to kill it so you can leave confidence at 80 payout I've already entered this uh, as 9 cents uh, minimum ROI I'll just set it to 0 for now um, you, you can set it to 30% um, if you want to uh, raise the bar so to speak or however many percent you, you want to you want your uh, campaign to yield for CPM uh, we go and look at the uh, average cost per view which you can see here is um, 0 0.0009 dollars so if you multiply that by a thousand it would be 90 cents which would be the CPM okay so the next step would be to find out how many impressions um, the target will need to accumulate before the verdict changes to kill so um, I would just start at a hundred and just raise it by increments of a hundred until it trips that verdict so still hasn't changed there we go so it says kill at 300 impressions so how much does uh, this number of impressions cost so we can whip whip up this calculator here so 27 cents would be the um, the loss at which we want to cut that placement so then in this case um, I would just again sort by uh, the amount of losses and then go all the way to here whoops there all the way oh and remembering to hold down the shift key and so yeah so every target that um, that is in loss by 27 cents or more we'll just pause it okay there are actually uh, more features um, for this integration uh, in the PDF here um, this is where it is but I will uh, of course include a link to this uh, below the video so so I've gone over all the um, main things that you can change from within volume so what else do you still need to go to your zero park account for okay so settings here uh, where you set up your um, OS and device targeting this you'll still have to do from within your zero park account uh, Wi-Fi versus carrier targeting you still have to do it here uh, frequency filters you still have to set it here uh, your adult filtering you still have to set it here your day parting um, other than that if you want to search for multiple targets or sources you'll still have to do it from within zero park uh, because within volume there's no place where you can enter 
a bunch of targets or sources and, and just um, tell your account to uh, mass pause or um, mass resume. So for example, let's say you have a list of good sources uh, that have converted very well for you in the past uh, for that particular particular geo or carrier uh, and then you have a list of bad sources um, so for all your future campaigns uh, that you create for that geo and, and other targeting you may want to just uh, target these sources um, or to eliminate the bad ones right off the bat so you don't have to um, waste money on those sources so let's say I want to start a new camp and I want to blacklist these sources so I would just copy them and actually I don't need to start a new campaign let me just show it here I would go to sources and click on search by source sources and copy them here and click send and as you can see uh, they will appear and all you need to do is click pause and it will pause all of them um, you can of course do the same thing with targets if you have a list of good targets or bad targets then you can do something similar so, um, that's all I have to say for now. Uh, I hope that was useful in helping you to uh, navigate Zero Park and um, the volume more efficiently. And, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.